What happened to Wonder Girls? You remember, one of the biggest girl groups of the second generation of K-pop from JYP Entertainment, always known for their retro throwback 90s, 80s feel, and then today, they're gone. But before we get into this, if you want to help me out, support me over on Patreon, I'd really much appreciate it. It helps me make these videos possible. So if you like these videos, why not support me? But anyways, back to the video. So like I mentioned in a lot of my videos, including the What Happened series, before looking forward, I always like to look back. JYP Entertainment back in 2007 was still a part of the big three, but not as outrageous numbers of earnings that we see today in 2019. But think of it kind of like a building blocks for the huge JYP you see nowadays. JYP's first girl group was Wonder Girls. Originally five members, Yi Eun, Sun Yi, Sun Mi, Hyuna, and Sohee. As we continue into the future, the lineup changes that happened to Wonder Girls could be the reason that led to their demise. So, like I said, Wonder Girls was a huge group at the time for second generation in K-pop. Huge hits like Nobody, Tell Me, So Hot. Wonder Girls had a huge discography of number one hits. All was going good for Wonder Girls when they first debuted with the song Irony. But soon after, a little known K-pop idol known as Hyuna decided to leave the group. During promotions, Hyuna had a battle with chronic gastrointestinus, which is a fancy name for inflamed intestines, which led to her family being concerned about her health, asking her to be withdrawn from JYP and of course Wonder Girls. That wish was granted and JYP felt like he needed a replacement for Hyuna. In stepped in Yubin. Yubin was a part of Good Entertainment, but they decided to send her to JYP Entertainment as a replacement for Hyuna. Not too sure why, but they did. So there is your first lineup change, but it's understandable. Yana had some health problems and you know, you, you, you don't want to push her too much to the limit where she becomes permanently injured. And so this is when Wonder Girls takes off big time. Some of you know that there was this huge American push by JYP with Wonder Girls. Long before even today of like BTS breaking in or Blackpink breaking in, NCT, Monster X, everyone that's breaking in now. Back then, America was a big enough target as it is today. And JYP, even back then, was still kind of a pioneer of spreading K-pop internationally. That is where we see the hit No Nobody take the world by storm. You know I still love you, baby. And you will never change. Sarang. I want nobody, nobody but you. I want nobody, nobody but you. Nobody was a very, very huge hit and with a kind of old retro style. Featuring JYP in the music video and featuring two versions, an English version and a Korean version of the song. Which was not just for fun because the English one was made to appeal to the American audience. With the song Nobody Taking Off, JYP set Wonder Girls up to have their American debut. Wonder Girls was on the Wendy Williams show performing Nobody and famously going on tour with the Jonas Brothers. Sure, they had a splash in America, but were kind of easily forgotten. But Wonder Girls continued with their English songs, appealing to a wider audience than just Korea. And continuing with the retro feel, almost every single comeback was a retro style, 80s, 90s, even earlier than that. And that's kind of the reasons why I like Wonder Girls music. With Wonder Girls going steady and cementing their place as a huge girl group at the time, there was another lineup change. In order for Wonder Girls to focus on their American debut, Suhi and Sunni dropped out of high school. Yes, these were kind of like kids we're talking about, promoting in America and trying to make a name for Wonder Girls and JYP and for K-pop as a whole. But since Somi postponed her education for the American debut, afterwards she decided to go back to school. That is where another replacement stepped in, Kerim or Lim. She was a JYP trainee that took Somi's place as Somi went back to finish her education. And for two years, Wonder Girls continued on without Sunmi. Up to 2013 and 2014, that is where Sonye gave birth to her first daughter. And of course, with any new mother, they want to spend time with the kid. And so there was a lot of rumors about her not being a part of the group. But JYP said that it wasn't a retirement, that it was just a hiatus. But ultimately, in 2014, Sonye did retire from entertainment to focus on her family and a little bit of mission work. With her being gone, a comeback never happened for a while. But Sonmi did come back, and she came back solo. Baby, baby. 
Sunmi had her solo debut with a single 24 hours. And even since then, Sunmi had that special something. Also in this time, Sohei left to focus on acting, leaving JYP Entertainment. Yet even more lineup changes. After Sunmi's solo, Sunmi did return to Wonder Girls and that is where we see our final lineup of Wonder Girls till the end. Wonder Girls came back with Reboot and then ultimately Why So Lonely. After the Why So Lonely promotions, it was announced that Wonder Girls will be disbanding. After 10 years of being a legendary girl group, it was officially over. And since the group disbanded, the members had opportunities to go elsewhere. That is where we see Yubin and Hidim stay with JYP, but of course Sunmi and Dian leaving. Sunmi of course kinda debuted again solo and has now became one of the biggest solo artists in K-pop. And a very, very amazing solo artist at that. Park Jin Young likes to joke that after Sunmi winning all these number ones, why didn't she win number one with him? He is definitely proud about Sunmi now and without everything that happened to Sunmi in Wonder Girls, in JYP, in her solo promotions, going back to school, that's what led her to being what she is now. So as we see Wonder Girls go through all of this, we go back to the question, what happened to Wonder Girls? I see a lot of comments asking, yo, you spent all this time talking about Wonder Girls and you don't even know what happened? Do I work for JYP? Do, do I know the members personally? How the hell am I supposed to know? Anyways, what I think what happened to Wonder Girls is all those lineup changes over all the years definitely took its toll. Not sure what would happen within the next comeback, who they would have to promote. Nothing really bad happened to Wonder Girls. Like there was no controversy. There was nothing that could have led to Wonder Girls disbanding. It was ultimately them disbanding naturally by just running out of contract and feeling like this is it. But another big thing that could be the reason to Wonder Girls disbandment is the debut of JYP's new girl group. Twice debuted in 2015, around that time that Wonder Girls would be focusing on their reboot album. A comeback before Why So Lonely, which would be their last comeback. We kind of saw what happened to Twice and how they took off and how JYP had to keep up with Twice and make sure that Twice would be as successful as they are. And it's kind of only understandable. When a new group comes in, you want to give them the attention and set them up to be successful. Your older veteran groups, they already had their time. And so that's kind of the way of life. But that doesn't take away the fact that Wonder Girls had an amazing career. Any other group with those lineup changes wouldn't have lasted as long as Wonder Girls yet. 10 amazing years with huge, huge classic hits to make what K-pop is today being one of the first groups to go over to America and try to break through in the Western market. They are trailblazers in K-pop and that they will remain. So that is it for me. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, why not give this video a like, hit that subscribe button and that bell if you're new and you want to get notified when I upload a new video and click one of those boxes over there to watch another one. It helps out on YouTube algorithm and I'd appreciate it very much. Also big thanks to my patrons making these videos possible. If you want to help out and support me and make these videos possible and get your name up there. Head over to Patreon and consider supporting. I'd appreciate it very, very much. Also comment what you think happened to Wonder Girls or anything you want to say about Wonder Girls down in the comments below. Let's have a discussion and you know, the usual like, comment, share, subscribe. Anything helps out on the YouTube algorithm. And that's it for me guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. And if you have an idea for what I should do for the What Happened Next series, let me know down below. A group, solo artist, anything. But anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Annyeong.